what is up guys I just wanted to welcome you back to another Navy video here by myself JT suits me hey uh, seriously though guys uh hello family how you doing thanks for the 12k subscribers uh, I just hit 12k on the way to 20k we already got the 10k tattoo right in support of you guys and just it's a huge that's a huge thing 10,000 people I started this channel three years ago started taking it seriously when I got out of the Navy last year and things have really taken off thank you so much for all the support and while we're on that topic I just want to get something off my chest real quick before we go into today's video there is a other there's a fellow military youtuber out there that we all know and love uh, don't get me wrong, this is not meant to bash him, this is not meant to be anything negative. It's just something, like I said, I've been wanting to get off my chest. He recently posted a video where he was saying, I don't want to be that military veteran that gets out and keeps making military videos and keeps, you know, he's like, I just want to forget about it, I just want to move on, I'm, bur you know, I'm burned out making videos about the military. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that kind of rubbed me the wrong way because you know i've been out for a year um separated completely from the navy and i did five years and it's a big part of my life and i i experienced a lot in the navy now this other person that we're talking about um i don't know if they've been deployed i don't know how much they've experienced in the military but i have kept making videos because there's so much that i can talk about there's so much that i experienced from boot camp to going to A school in Pensacola, to C school in Jacksonville, to going to my first squadron in San Diego on North Island, to being deployed for nine months to the Persian Gulf, to coming back from that deployment and instantly transferring to Japan, living in Japan for a year and a half, being stationed out of Japan and going all over Southeast Asia and Australia. Um, I've been in almost every ocean, you know, lived at sea for almost two years, worked off the flight deck. So there's a lot of experiences and so much that I can talk about. And I don't think it's a negative thing to keep making military videos after you get out. Um, because not only will you keep helping people, uh, new recruits, people joining, people going on their first deployments. Um, because like I said, I started making videos back in 2012 was my very first Navy video after I got out of boot camp. And it was just, I didn't have any need to i didn't want to make money off of it it was only because i wanted to help you guys and to help people out there that are scared or have questions about going in or concerns because back when i joined in 2010 there was nothing really on youtube about the navy um so I, that's why i started making videos and it's just kind of taken off from there all right so i've been having people uh comment and uh want a video about food in navy in the navy and in boot camp now and memorandum of you guys going to boot camp and not being able to drink for two months. I will uh, try to open this wine bottle here and not kill myself. And also this drink will be in uh, memorandum of that other YouTuber that I just talked about who does not drink anymore. So buddy, this is for you, cheers. If you guys have never opened a wine bottle, you just stick in the spiral thing. You uh, use this as leverage. There's a little thingy and then you just Oh shit. And you pull that bitch out. You don't want to. You do not want to bend the cork. There we go. That was kind of an awkward positioning, but wine bottle open. Time to get into this video. You do not want to chug wine. As to why that is, just uh, compared to chugging other alcohol, it is more. I don't know. I just. I'm not a fan of wine, but this is all we have at the moment. So cheers to you guys. Cheers to. All the military YouTubers out there and veterans active duty, happy 4th of July, it was yesterday. And uh, yeah. We have a, this is a nice white wine or a nice Riesling from Chatelier de Michel. It's a vintage 2013, Columbia Valley. I'm just trying to stall. We got a man up right now. What's the worst that can happen? I don't know what's the worst thing. I could probably get, I don't get sick, but. Ooh, strong. <laughs> oh, Ophelia, you've been on my mind, girl. Oh, Ophelia, you've been on my mind, girl, since the flood. All right, 
if you guys are still here waiting for the video, then you are an ultimate fan and subscriber because that's the kind of stuff I would do um, when I first started making videos. I would have the longest, most, most drawn out intros. <laughs> um, and finally, after uh, making videos for a while, I was like, you know, I think people like it when you just get to the point. But anyways, to getting to food in the military and in the Navy and in boot camp and deployment, I just want to start off saying food in boot camp compared to food in A school, compared to food in C school, compared to food on deployment on the carrier, compared to food on a small boy on a destroyer or a cruiser, um, it is not that bad. It is actually very, very good. I'd say food in boot camp is better than food on a carrier for sure if you're enlisted. It's better uh, than food. Boot camp food is better than food also on the cruiser and destroyers on small boys. I'd say it's also better than some A school and C school foods. In boot camp, you're getting meals three times a day. So that's why they say the skinny people in boot camp gain a lot of weight and the fat people lose a lot of weight because I was very skinny and I gained like 10, 15 pounds because I wasn't used to eating like three big meals a day. But in boot camp, I was really, really hungry. And I also ate, they have this really like really good butter that you squeeze and I would just eat bread and butter all the fucking time. I was really hungry. I would eat everything and bread and butter. And I would sometimes sneak those little candies into the birthing uh, back into the compartment. But don't do that. It's risky business. You'll get your division uh, IT'd if uh, the RDCs find out. But but yeah, food and boot camp is very, I think it was very good. I liked the food and boot camp. I had no complaints about it. Food in A school when I was in Pensacola, also very good. They have a great galley. The food in C school when I was in Jacksonville, not as good as boot camp or A school, but it was still decent. You know, Jacksonville had decent food in that galley. The food on the Lincoln, on the carrier, and the food on the George Washington sucked. I fucking hated the food on deployment. I'm pretty sure a lot of people will agree with that. Now that is where if you're good friends with your if you're friends with your chief or your officers, they can hook you up with their officer mess food. They have really good like fresh quesadillas they'll give you or uh, really fresh chicken quesadillas, you know, um, whatever they make the officers or chiefs, that's why they'll give you a little something something. Also, it's good to be friends with the cooks on deployment, the CSs. They'll hook you up with some good fresh stuff. But yeah, I generally I'd say the food on any deployment on any ship or submarine or destroyer or cruiser sucks unless you're an officer or higher enlisted ranking like E7 or above. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for the video for today. I hope you enjoyed everything and uh, sorry about that rant at the beginning. I just had to, you know, get that stuff off my chest. Like I said, it was nothing personal. It was just something that I wanted to talk about and to close this video out, we will have one more glass of this beautiful white Riesling. Um, social media below as always videos every day this summer I'm thinking about doing the vlogging every month in August so big stuff to come um, I'm really excited thank you again for 12k social media below as always good boy <sighs> Ophelia Ophelia you've been on my mind girl since the flood oh Ophelia oh, fuck it. heaven help